Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I'm going to do some more steps and getting the pond ready for winter. Now there's a lot of steps that need to be done in winterizing your pond. I work two jobs. I work a day job and some night, a part-time nighttime job, so it's I'm going to have to do mine piecemeal. But today I'm going to take advantage of this fall weather. It's quite cool out lately, but today is warm. So it's, I don't have time today to take the plants out, cut them back, figure out which ones were perennial, which ones were tropical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while it's warm, move all the plants to an outer edge so I can grab them without walking in the water. I gotta say, I'm not looking forward to this, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So right now what I've done is I put a, a cover on my pond because leaves haven't even begun to fall, but there's quite a few leaves on here already. So I'm glad I did that. I'm gonna remove the, the netting and I'm gonna get in there and try to get all those plants either out or somewhere where I can just grab them when I'm ready to cut back and do all that. But right now I have one hour. Looks like it's gonna rain and it's about 59, 60 degrees. So I'm gonna take advantage of this. It's not freezing. wasn't so bad but it has been down in the 30s and 40s and I know it's not going to get any warmer so I figure I better do that quickly well I was able to move all my plants over to here it's a shallow end so I'm able to from the side reach over and grab them I have to do some research still on which ones are tropicals and which ones were perennials because this is my first year with a pond and I know I bought both I might just treat all my lilies cut them back and treat them all like they're um, perennial I am not experienced this. This is not an educational. This is how I'm handling my first winterization of my pond. So if you're here to learn something, <laughs> this isn't the channel. What I'm doing is just sharing my experience. The main reason I moved all the plants to the side is because I don't want to have to go in. I don't have waders. I don't want to have to go in my pond when it's below 50 degrees. The water right now is not below 50 degrees. We had one warm day. So I figured while the air temperature matched the water temperature, I moved everything to the side, put the net back. So I'll stop the leaves from coming and I'll be ready to, the next video, I'll probably be cutting back my plants and winterizing my plants. Um, and probably at that point is when I'll stop feeding the fish and stop the waterfall and tear that apart and get it ready, get my whole pond ready for winter. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be winterizing my plants, storing them in a cool shed. Thanks for checking out my next step and getting my pond ready for the winter. See you next time.